Okay, so you've seen the wave equation derived, you've seen that the general solution of the wave equation is any function that is, has an argument, the, the only argument is x plus or minus vt. Um, I now want to consider a special class of wave solutions, and that is uh, sinusoidal waves. So, for example, um, if I have my displacement of the string as a function of x in time, that will be some amplitude, I'll call it y naught. Why not call it why not? All right, times cosine of, now the argument of the cosine is going to be something like x minus vt, um, but you can multiply that x minus vt times any arbitrary constant. I'm going to multiply it by something I'll call k, which is not the spring constant. I'll say what it is in a second, x plus or minus vt. Okay, now in general we could add some arbitrary phase here. Okay, just to offset the wave, but, um, okay, but I won't write that again. Okay, we'll set phi to zero and just consider uh, cosine or sine, okay? Um, all right, so looking at this uh, expression, we usually don't write it like this. We usually write it as y naught cosine kx and then plus or minus omega times t, and I'll ignore the phase for now. Um, and by doing that, um, the requirement, if this um, uh, waveform is a solution of the wave equation, the wave equation specifies the velocity v, and it specifies for a function to be a solution, the, the, the argument needs to be uh, a multiple of x plus or minus vt. So that requires that v um, equals omega over k or v times k is equal to omega. Okay. Now, uh, k here, again, is not the spring constant. k is the what we call the wave number of the oscillation. And this is really 2 pi over the wavelength, as we'll see. It's analogous to uh, the period, the relationship between the period uh, and the frequency, where uh, we replace the period now with the wavelength. Okay. Um, when we, the, the quantity omega over k is generally called a phase velocity, okay, because it tells you um, the velocity at which the phase uh, moves, okay, in some sense. And remember, the, the argument of a sinusoidal function we call the phase. This whole thing is the phase of the argument. Um, so this is the phase velocity, okay. And in this case, the phase velocity of the wave is given by the, the physical wave velocity from the wave equation. Okay, so V, which is root T over mu, is equal to omega over K. All right. Um, okay, and so if I um, now draw this solution, uh, which I'll do down here. Okay, so I'll draw y versus x. Again, I'll pick some instant in time. Let's have it be cosine, let's say t equal to zero. Oops. Okay, and the wave might extend the other direction also. Um, much like we when we define the frequency of a wave in time, um, the, wa the wave number plays the same role as the frequency. It um, is a measure of the distance in space now. Um, over which you repeat the wave. Okay, so this distance is the wavelength, lambda, and the wave number again is just 2 pi over lambda. Okay. All right, and so now if I consider um, what happens at other instances in time, Oops, sorry. Um, again, this is y versus x. Let me redraw what I had before. There's my wave at t equal to 0. And if I have y is, here's y naught. Um, y naught cosine. Um, and let's imagine it's kx minus omega t. Okay, and in this case, um, the the wave, because of the minus sign, it's the same as uh, k 
k times x minus vt quantity k times quantity x minus vt and so this is going to be a wave that propagates to the right and so this whole pattern again will slide to the right with time okay and if i choose plus it will slide to the other it will go in the other direction okay